Hi guys. Hi guys. Say subscribe. Saturday morning, I will start a new vlog from here. Saturday morning, and I'm on my way to the market. Ah, the sun is too much. Am I being... Okay, so it's uh, what is this? Saturday, January 25th, and in Nigeria, my country, we have two seasons: dry season and wet season. But in dry season, in this particular time of dry season, it's still Hamatan. It's like our winter. Um, I wouldn't say there is like the weather is cold per se, but there's so much dust in the air, and because of that, clogged nose, um, sore throat, and then itchy ears, just uncomfortable. Anyways, guys, I'm on my way to the market this morning. I'm going to Lafayette Market. It's not market day. Um, I haven't taken you guys along on the market day, I will. But to be honest, this blog, blogging thing is a struggle because it's just a struggle to me. Like in my whole YouTube journey, I, 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 I didn't think that it was difficult trying to plan out a story in your head or just like capture moments in the day and all of that. And I've had issues with my phone, I just got it sorted out. So, anyways, happy Saturday. Follow me to Lafayette One Market. I'm just getting a few things and oh something happened this morning I have to talk about it so um, I made a video for Faith Friday that went up yesterday it was a book review I'd said that in 2020 for the Faith Friday videos we're going to be doing relationships we're going to be talking about relationships 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 um, and I'd ask you guys to send me suggestions I'm still taking questions concerns topics whatever what do you want us to talk about you know and I, I'm not an expert I'll read about it or like ask people and then I'll share so then I posted my first book review yesterday I'd read this book and I was just eager to do a review on it um, the book is titled selfies with Bible girls by Laju Iren and it was just a really special um, experience reading the book reviewing the book and all of that but then the first thing that happened that was interesting was that a subscriber I forgot her name she commented and said um, there's still one more Friday January <laughs> I don't know where the mix-up happened because I make my calendar early in the year so I don't know where that discrepancy happened anyways I made a mistake and then I put out the video earlier because there's one more Friday in January and that's January 31st so I responded to her and said I'll do another book review for January 31st it's a smaller book um, it's titled um, Handling Offenses by Mensa Otabel and that in, the other interesting thing that happened is that the author of the book I reviewed commented on my video guys like Irene commented on my video and she had a YouTube channel as well this woman is like a role model like she's somebody that I I admire so much. Oh, Abayomi, say hi. You're going to be on my vlog a lot. Abayomi is my intern slash assistant slash everything. Okay, let's go to the market. Let me finish this just sharp sharp. I can still drive. So I was saying that um, um, she commented on the video. Like, how can the author of the book comment? And I didn't even expect the comment that fast. Like, because you know how some people they want to form. Um, I'll answer it later. Like, they want to form. <laughs> I don't know really I don't know what it is but I uh, yeah that blew my mind oh yeah she commented on it and the commented and said the co oh my god see I'm speaking bad English because I'm too happy the comment ended with where she said um she said I hope we can be friends I just almost fainted excuse me ma we are mother and daughter
I don't know if you guys can hear me. Oh, this does. I'm going to agree to Leja and I'm just going to do a voiceover because the noise is too much and this is awkward. People are looking at me. They're looking at me, but it's alright, it's alright. <laughs> So guys, as I was gingerly trying to show you the railway tracks in Lafenwa, a man stopped to question me and almost like scared me. Like if I didn't know what to do or how to act, I would have maybe lost my phone or he would have embarrassed me or something. Uh, so he, you're going to see him very soon. That's him over there. He walks up to me and says, what am I doing? And guys, I'm just using my phone or my phone. And that is not allowed. I was like, oh, I'm not aware about that. I'm a vlogger. I was even going to show my YouTube channel. I said, oh, see, I'm, I'm harmless. Um, and then he was, he kept insisting. I was like, can I see your ID card? And that just like, he just disabled him because he already saw that this one is not somebody that can intimidate. So please bear that in mind if you are vlogging. Ileja is the building with the umbrellas in front of it. It's like a brown building on that black gate. Um, and in front, when you're about to enter, this is what you see. Uh, women selling bags and um, newspapers that would help to insu insulate <laughs> insulate the fish or whatever you're buying so that it doesn't um, defrost. Le Eja is um, Yoruba for the house of fish. And here they sell iced fish, different types, guys, different types. of. So it's a huge cold room where they store all these things and then they sell it. So how it works is that. You come here and you find other women that are trying to buy the same type of fish you are trying to buy and then you share with them. That's how it works. And in this market, men are not allowed. If you want to know why, I can make a story time video about why men are not allowed in this market. The only men that are allowed here are men that work here. Um, and there's a story behind it. So you see this man that is um, lifting up a carton of iced fish and hitting it down to the floor. What he's doing is trying to separate the iced pieces so that when they open it, it's not difficult to share amongst the women. Um, it's really noisy here and um, that's just how we do. Elijah, even ladies, the women that sell fish come here to buy, to resell. And since I found out the difference, guys, I'm never going back. I'm never going back. Don't worry, I'll show you what I got and tell you how much it costs because I was buying it just like from the people that we sell. Um, I bought a lot of other things in the market. I will do a, what's it called, a haul, like unboxing. But this is another thing that I bought for Moi Moi. And I actually do have a Moi Moi recipe video that I filmed the Moi Moi that I made from these leaves, with these leaves. And so I'm going to show you guys that. But then, from on this vlog, I just did a, like a haul because my phone had died and I couldn't take more clips in the market. Say hi, guys. We're just talking. What did you eat? Eat. 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 What did you do? Do. <laughs> so, guys, this is another errand that I had to run. I had to rent a few items for church the next day since this was a Saturday. Every month in our church we have um, a week, what do we call it, monthly miracle service where we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday of programs um, and then on Sunday we would usually have like breakfast in church um, at the end of the month. So this whole bag and the other one on the floor were some of the things that I bought from the market. So this is, consider this a market hall, like a mini mini haul. Like I said, I just needed to go to market. I, I prefer to go to the market on market days. But this wasn't a market day, but I just had to go because like there was almost nothing in the house and I'm not going to wait till market day before we eat, you know what I mean? So I bought some of Father Rice. I bought some... Hey, what else was there? Oats. Um, a pack of Chin Chin for church. Oatmeal. Um, beans. Uh, hey, as I saw them trying to pour it now, that's how I remember. Um, I bought some spaghetti, um, I bought seasoning, I bought, I don't even know, yeah, spaghetti seasoning, I bought banana for the way I showed you earlier, she's going to be interrupting me and asking me to give her bananas, and most this, yeah, um, pepper mix, I usually like to have this in my freezer, just so that when I want to make anything real quick, I don't have to start looking for pepper up and down, so this is how much pepper I'm going to be, I bought palm oil too, I wanted to show you guys that, and vegetable oil. 
then I bought some vegetables, a four tete, and then some away do slimy, the slimy green one we eat with stew. Then that's iru. Then this is smoked fish. This one is ejakala. And then I bought okay, so that nylon I just the bag I just put on the pepper is already blended pepper smoothly. I use that for omiobe. Um then this is a um, what's it called? A goosey that I'm pouring in the goosey container. This is for more. Ah, I like for more. Um, I bought some yam. Yeah, and then I'm just going to be sorting out the fish, guys. Yeah, moment of truth. So when I go and buy fish from all these women, you can this particular fish. I love it. It tastes really nice. This is called shower, a jar shower, and I usually would buy if I have a good bargain. I'll buy three for a thousand or three for nine hundred. That means they're selling one at three hundred naira per piece. Okay, I bought quarter of the carton. That's Ilani, and I bought it for two thousand nine or about three thousand. Let's just even say three thousand naira. If I was buying it at the rate of three hundred naira per one, I would only buy ten pieces for three thousand. Guys, guess how many pieces I have here? Twenty six. Yup, twenty six pieces. And tell me that it's not worth it. It's noisy and all of that. Um, it's stressful to go there, but it's totally worth it. Um, Safi is taking a bath, and the smell of the fish is disturbing his head. Um, but he still needs to get his nice treat. The inside of the fish, we usually boil it for him. Guys, I mentioned earlier that we had a three-day three program going on in church. It's Saturday, and it was the day two. We had like a praise night. Let me let you enjoy. <laughs> morning guys <laughs> it's sunday morning i said i'm going to give this vlogging thing a shot i wanted to do only one day of vlogging but i said i'll end that for today because something was happening in the church um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. everybody say hi guys 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 I don't know what's the time. 5.36. And... Kill us up. She said she's on her way to Omida. Okay. But you can't go to the same high school on the TV. So that she can take food with her. Um... Our church, we had a special breakfast program. Um, it's because we're literally breaking our 21 day fast. That we've been doing, but the 21 day fast is not um, like on a stretch you break in the evening. So we are breaking, we are ending the fast today. Um, so we have communion service, holy, com holy communion, anointing service, and then a serving breakfast. So I'm up early with the children so that I can um, make sandwiches. We're making like egg sandwich and um, Tuna, tuna sandwich. Nigerian tuna sandwich is different. It's not the normal tuna sandwich. It's sardines and butter and little tiny onions. Um, so I guess I'll show you guys the process. Um, and then we end the vlog after. If you're so. Nigerian, then you should know this tuna sandwich. We call it, um, what do we call it? Bread and sardine. <laughs> And I'll be using for it, I'll be using this C. What's the word? What's this? Sima. 
yeah i think it's sima the brand of the butter is so nice guys it's so nice um, and I'm going to be using two packs of it with four sardines. I actually ended up using more than that, but that's what I was showing in the video. Then, something important when you're using canned stuff, wash the top. My mom is always to shout that into our head. Um, and then we're using the oil and the and the tuna, the sardine inside. So when you just pour, it, just mix it, and that's you know your sandwich filler. This is the onions that's chopped finely. However, I need to soak it in cold water to get rid of that oniony taste, okay? So you, when you finish eating this and you're talking, people are not running away from your breath. Um, so I just add a little quantity of that and then I mix. I was going to make two different types of sandwich. I'm going to show you the second one is egg. Um, so this is the tuna paste or sardine paste and then I'm just going to put it on the bread. I had help, but let me know like the people around the house helped me out. Um, but I did some of it myself as well. So this is it. Um, some people like to take out the sides of the bread. We're not because <laughs> the people who are feeding, they need to be fed. <laughs> so, I mean, if you want it looking nice and stuff, you can take out the brown edges of the bread. And we just cut and then we pack it up in foil sheets like so. This is the egg sandwich and I'm just chopping it up. And added butter that's all and then I'm also going to add just a little onion the one I soaked in cold water don't forget the reason for soaking it is just so that you don't have that fresh onion breast thing um, in your mouth and it just is nicer when you're soaking I learned that on Instagram guys um, so this is the onions that I'm adding to it and I'm just now going to add the butter Sima say hey that's the name I just saw it now on the wrap Simas butter. Um, be careful of how much butter you add to the egg sandwich because the yolk is going to mix easily with the butter. So just be careful. And yeah, this is it, guys. This is it. I think I added a little bit more butter. I don't even remember. Um, yeah, this is me saying good morning. Look at that sun. This was sunrise. I don't know. I don't know what time exactly, but look at the sun my i was covering the mic on my phone i was saying a few things but you couldn't hear me um let me let you get a little excerpt from the message um on that sunday but that's the reason why you should come because on the table there is prepared for you it's prepared already it's not going to prepare it it's prepared so you just come with the expectation to eat before god you see, the reason why you can't come to God's presence is the same reason why you should run to His presence. Hmm. Whatever keeps you from His presence knows that you will, you will get breakthrough from His presence. So, there is even waiting for you, but sickness will keep you. There is abundance waiting for you, but lack will keep you. There is joy waiting for you, but depression will keep you. There is progress waiting for you, but the frustration of your stagnation is keeping you. There is celebration. We, God is saying, come so that your sorrow can turn to celebration. Because whenever there is a celebration, food is a symbol. <laughs>
I don't know. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Say subscribe. Subscribe. You heard that? Zoe said subscribe. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this vlog. Until next time, Zoe say bye. Bye. <laughs>